Are you a people photographer who'd like to edit your portraits in less than four minutes, but still have professional looking results? Do terms like frequency separation and liquefy completely baffle you and make you want to run for the hills? I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video, I'll show you my quick portrait editing workflow, and I'll tell you about a new option that's coming soon from the folks over at Skylum. It's called Aperty, and I'm quite excited about it. So if you're ready to do some speedy portrait editing, let's get started. My workflow starts inside of Lightroom Classic. You can see I've got a number of different portraits already selected to work on. So I'm going to take the first one into the develop module. This is the original image straight out of camera. All I've done is crop it a little bit. Now I'm going to use some Lightroom presets that I created myself. First, I'm going to bump the exposure a little bit. I'm going to add a nice edge vignette. Warm the image up a little bit boost the contrast, and add some portrait editing. This has all been done with presets that I created and saved myself. As you can see, it's applied some basic settings here. I think it's a little bit too warm, so I'll dial a little bit of yellow out, like so. And you can also see the masks that have been applied and the editing that's been done to the skin, for example, to soften it. So remember, presets are a great way to get started and get really close to the final edit that you're looking for without spending a lot of time tweaking all the sliders. I'm not happy with the white balance, so I might play with this one a little bit more. That looks better. So this is how I would proceed and batch process the rest of the images in this photo shoot. They would all have similar lighting and exposure, so I can copy and paste the settings or sync them across multiple images. Let's take a look. I'm going to make these thumbnails a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to select a couple of different images. Now I'm going to hit sync. Even though these are not the same photo shoot, let's see what syncing the settings does here. In Lightroom, you can choose which settings you want to copy and paste or sync from one image to the next. I don't want to copy the cropping or anything that I may have done with the erase tool or the remove tool. Likewise, the lens blur. But I do want all of the rest. You can see it literally takes about six seconds to apply. Let's see how we did. Here's the before and after. It's pretty good. I might play with the white balance once again and perhaps warm this one up a little bit, like so. But right out of the gate, just a quick sync or copy and paste of the settings has got me really close. Likewise with this image. So once again, just adjust the color and voila. This is what I would call basic editing or to the preview level. When I'm ready to do the final editing, I'll take the image over to Luminar Neo as a plugin for Lightroom. Let's take a look at another example using that workflow. On this portrait, I've done some basic editing just to adjust the tone and the color, but I haven't done any skin or facial enhancements yet. So I'll use the preset that I've already showed you once before to do some skin softening. This preset utilizes Lightroom smart masking features to select face and body skin, eyebrows, hair, pupils and iris, and so on. And I've already done some settings for each of these. You could see what it's doing if I turned the mask off and on. But I want to take this one to the next level and turn it into a monochrome. So I have a black and white high contrast preset that I've created. So all it does is start from where I just left off, converts it to black and white, and does a little bit of adjustments in here to add some contrast. Now let's take this one to Neo. To do that, if I want to do fully non-destructive editing, I would open this image in Photoshop as a smart object first. But if I'm just doing finishing touches, I'll open it directly into Neo this way, always making sure that I use a TIFF and Adobe RGB, which will provide me more colors and a larger 
file with more data. So let's take it to Neo. Once I've got the image in Neo, I've also created some presets here. The one that I'm going to use for this demonstration is in my favorites. Okay, here we are, and this is the one I want to use. So I just have to click it, and then let's see what it's doing. Here's the before and after. You can see that it's doing more skin softening, slimming her face a little bit, punching up the eyes and the eyebrows, and even getting rid of a bunch of the stray hairs. I've done that with the Portrait Bokeh AI tool. You can see my edits here. I can continue to edit this image here or take it back to Lightroom and do some more. Another quick tip that I will give you is use the cloning tool at a lower strength, around 30%. If you want to reduce any fine lines or circles like this under the eye. So what I'm going to do is apply it here. I'm going to click here to get the source, use a smaller brush, and now when I paint, it's going to just paint over slightly, right? So I'm gonna build it up so that I am minimizing this line here. Then I'm going to do the same underneath her eye just to soften and minimize it a little bit. Likewise, here on her cheek. When I'm editing the general rule of thumb that I follow for portraits is, if it's a permanent fixture on their face, I do not remove it. If it's something temporary like a blemish or a five o'clock shadow or even a mosquito bite, then I will remove it. See what the clone tool is doing before and after just soften a little bit. Once I'm happy with the edit here, I just have to click apply and it comes back into Lightroom with the edits baked in. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to do truly non-destructive editing so that you can get back to your Luminar settings at any time, put Photoshop in the middle as an intermediary and use Luminar Neo as a smart filter inside Photoshop. And there's the finished image. Let's see how well that same black and white preset works on a couple of other images. Not bad for one click, right? I think I'll punch the contrast a little bit on this one and let's do the same on this final image. Black and white portrait and just like that. So just to recap, in my workflow, I use both Lightroom presets and you can find my basic Lightroom presets here on the website and Luminar presets. You can find my Luminar presets on the Skylum Marketplace. I'll put a link for both my Lightroom presets and my Luminar Neo portrait presets in the description area below for you. Now let's talk about what's new and coming soon. And that is Aperti by Skylum. If you're on the Skylum website, you'll see it here at the top. You'll notice a couple of things here on this page right away. First of all, that it's only available for pre-order. And second of all, that there are only 203 licenses left as of the time of recording this video. Well, what does that mean? And what the heck is Aperti anyways? Let me break it down for you. First of all, what is Aperti? It's a new portrait program being produced by the team at Skylum. It is not Luminar Neo, nor will it be part of Luminar Neo or an add-on. This is a completely separate product designed specifically for portrait photographers. They've done a collaboration with portrait photographer Julia Trotti from Australia. I met her in Madeira, Portugal last year when we were all on a partner's trip together. She does amazing work. So I know that the feedback and input that she's given the Skylum team to make this new product is going to be a key to making it work for all of us. So why Aperti? And what does it do? You'll find a lot more in-depth information on the page on the Skylum website. But in summary, what it does the best, so I'm told, I haven't seen it yet, is batch automation retouching for portraits. As you saw me do a minute ago, you could do some pretty quick editing using presets, but then when you want to refine things a little bit more, you have to dial in and do it manually. 
what we're hearing about Apertee and seeing and some of the before and afters that they've provided to us is that you'll be able to do portrait retouching of skin, facial features, makeup, and more, including body adjustments with fewer steps manually. I could use fancy phrases like time-saving algorithms, 3D mesh, and other confusing things. But the bottom line is, what I want to know is, will it make my workflow go faster? Everything that I'm seeing and hearing is a resounding yes. So that makes me interested to know more. Here are a few things that you need to be aware of. It's currently only available by pre-order. It will be shipping sometime in September. But remember the number of licenses remaining we saw on the website? It comes into play here. They are only pre-selling a certain number of lifetime licenses. And then after the launch or release of the product, you will only have the subscription model as an option. So if you want this product or you think you might want this product or even want to give it a try, get it now while there's still lifetime licenses available. As with all Skyland products, once it's in your hands, you have a 14 day window to return it and get a refund. So it's really risk free. Make the decision now to at least try it for 14 days and you can always get your money back. But if you wait until the release, you can only get the subscription model. Let's take another look now that we have a better understanding of what this means. Notice the image on the left is counting down how long it would take to do traditional frequency separation editing and cloning out of all of the blemishes and spots. And here we have a before and after that took three seconds. That's pretty impressive. I'll be really impressed if it can pull that off. So as I said, I'm anxious to give it a test drive. You can see a little bit more of what it does here in terms of blemish removal, smoothing the skin, correcting the skin color, veins in the eyes, adjusting makeup, and even reshaping the face. It's a pretty nice edit, and if it does as good a job or better than Luminar Neo on skin softening and smoothing, I'm all in. Check out the batch processing as well. You'll be able to edit multiple images from the same photo shoot and get a consistent look across the board. And as we've come to expect from all Skyland products, it will have a user-friendly, easy-to-use interface. I don't know about you, but if they can do things like this and this with a click of a button and a couple of tweaks, I'll be pretty impressed. So are you ready to check out Aperti now? I'll put a link for you in the description area below. Make sure you grab your copy before the lifetime licenses are sold out. I should have my hands on an early beta copy sometime near the end of August. So look for a review coming soon. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click one on the screen now.